Welcome back friends, we are talking about the different toxins and we have already talked about endotoxins and this video is going to be a very short video about exotoxins, the introductory video almost. Then we will be having different uh, examples of exotoxins and we will be talking about them separately. Now first of all, what is exotoxin? So you may have some idea of endo or exotoxin whatever, but exotoxin at the term such as exo means outside and toxin. So the toxin means obviously it is produced by bacteria to protect themselves and to spread the infection against the host organisms like us. So it is definitely harmful for the host, beneficial for the bacteria. And the exotoxin means the toxins or the toxic material secreted by the bacteria outside of their cell. So they are secreting some kind of chemicals outside their body, outside their cells which are causing infection and harm to the host cell so that they can colonize and grow and develop. Okay. So, exotoxin, so we have talked about the endotoxin in this picture that it already found in case of gram negative bacteria, but exotoxins can be found in case of gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria. All of them can produce exotoxins in nature. Mostly exotoxins are produced by gram positive bacteria, but many of them can produce. And another difference between the secretion of this, endotoxin was a part of the bacterial cell, right? But exotoxin is not a part, it's just like a protein component. They made it, they secrete it outside, just like the enzymes. And this toxin will act on certain regions and cause certain effects. So, secretory in nature. And they produce these exotoxins in a particular time of the bacterial growth curve or bacterial growth cycle, and that is during the exponential phase. Exponential phase or log phase of the bacterial growth cycle. So when the bacteria are dividing and growing very rapidly, in those conditions they produce these exotoxins in higher amount and secreting them outside. Now another difference between the exotoxin and endotoxin. In endotoxin, we know that this toxin is actually produced in the late uh, stationary or death phase when the bacteria kinds of die and then the part of their membrane kind of ruptures and outside they are acting as the toxin. But this, in this case, they are just producing the toxin inside. So in this cell, it will be, if I make it a gram positive, let's say these red things are the toxin, they produce it, they release it outside. And this outside, they will cause infection. This is the effect of exotoxin. Now, exotoxins mostly are synthesized in two components. One is called the receptor binding components or binding components called B subunit. Another one is called the active component or A subunit. So they are made up with two subunits. Subunit A and subunit B. This is for binding and this is for acting. Okay, so usually, uh, so they require this too because the usual mode for most of the exotoxin is to uptake of the toxin inside the host cell via receptor mediated endocytosis. Because the main aim for the bacteria to produce this exotoxin is that they want the host cell to uptake the toxin so that the toxin can put the effects on the host cell. So for that, uh, they need to put it inside the bacterial cell and they can put it via the receptor mediated endocytosis and for that reason they need require both subunit A and subunit B. So subunit B is acting as a binding subunit which will help the toxic part to bind with this membrane and subunit A is acting as an acting subunit or active subunit rather it is acting as a major part or toxic material it is doing the enzymatic effects or activities which are very much resembling the enzymes but they are not typical enzymes but they are acting there and causing the particular effects okay so these are the two parts now depending upon the type of subunit A and B a particular bacteria have the different variety of toxins depends. For example, uh, in this case, let's talk about three different types. So let's say there are one type of toxin can be this AB toxin. There's another toxin called A slash B. This is a type toxin. And, and I think first is this, another one is 
this and another one is this these are the three types of toxins that we usually find a plus b a minus b then a slash b okay so this type of toxins it means this part subunit a and subunit b produced separately and acts separately they are produced inside the cell separately from different polypeptide chains and they act separately so a and b are not having any connection a separate differently b separate differently but they are acting on a same cell b is helping then bind then a will come to attach and then they will be internalized the process is that if i draw it here that if this is the cell and this is the surface for binding b now so let's say b is coming here b it suppose this is the b bind separately then it it calls a so a will be in direct contact here a and then it helps to internalize it but they are acting separately both of it a minus b means a and b they are produced separately produced separately but they are joined via non covalent bonding or non covalent interactions okay so that's why it's a linkage kind of thing that is shown so a is produced here in this case a is produced and b is produced differently but then they will be joined via a kind of non covalent interaction then they are acting inside a particular cell that's the thing third case or a slash b it suggests us that this a slash b is a one single protein that means it is actually generated from one polypeptide chain right and this is one protein folded having two different domains so same protein having two different domains a and b right so it's a kind of like that and then it will act on it so this is a plus b type this is a minus b type and this one is a slash b it means it's single protein having two domains one a one b one domain is helping them to attach to the receptor of the host cell another is then internalized then another uh, section will be acting now remind you this active part is not acting directly into the uh, beginning that means the binding because binding is required until unless this a or active subunit is delivered inside the host cell it is meaningless it is useless so that is very very important okay so that's in a sense is exotoxin and uh, this exotoxin can impart many different dangerous effects in our body it can impart some toxic shock syndrome also which is very dangerous what is exactly it we'll be talking into a separate video you can find it and it may impart many other things like fever many kinds of uh, destabilizing effects in our body okay and some amount of toxins that we find they are dangerous for our body but they are not dangerous or they are not life threatening okay but some of the toxins are there which are life threatening in nature for example botulinum toxin it eventually can kill you it is the most potent toxin known in planet earth till now botulinum toxin secreted by the clostridium botulinum bacteria now exotoxins are way much powerful than endotoxins they are way much powerful and we require very less amount of this toxin to kill an individual just in seconds like the botulinum toxin right so they are known to be the most dangerous toxins in earth even the many many greater times in the snake venoms okay so majorly they are kind of protein parts you can see always but they only act when they reach the cell and depending upon the active site of this toxins we can also divide them in different varieties for example there are some toxins exotoxins acting on our intestinal regions or uh, different uh, part of our digestive tract they are called the enterotoxin because the toxin is effect is enterological effect enterotoxin there are toxins which uh, acts only our brain cells or nerve cells those are called neurotoxin and botulinum toxin is a type of neurotoxin a potent neurotoxin and those toxins which can eventually kill you are called as a lethal toxin so botulinum toxin is a lethal toxin right
so we can divide them depending upon our choice one is enterotoxin the one is neurotoxin and another uh, part if they are acting on normal cells except for uh, nerve cell or without having any, having any specialized specialty in acting in cells we call them cytotoxin So these are the different varieties of exotoxins that we find: enterotoxin, neurotoxin, cytotoxin, moldy. Okay, so that's kind of it, and I hope it's helpful. Thank you.